Hello everybody and welcome to me another Median XL build. This one will be the throwing assassin that I've mentioned before and that was requested to me. So let's just get right to it. Mo or do that because there's no reason to do anything different. And for LC0, I like how my chance to hit a fallen one is only 46%, by the way. Uh, see if I can get a throwing dagger. Um, for level challenge one, I am going to be using bat strike since it is rather useful. Alright. Uh, oh. Whoops. That would help. Because bat strike is really powerful. And it does take care of level challenge one. Or, er, not level challenge one, level challenge zero, I'm sorry. So, we're not actually going to be throwing just yet. We'll do that at level... We'll do that once I get to level two. And actually earn some skills. I have a limited experience with throwing assassins. I built one but I've never actually got it up to level challenge one. So this is fairly new territory to me. So uh, if you guys have any suggestions in the comments on gear, etc. that I should use, uh, go ahead and tell me. Now, I'm putting points into strength just so I can uh, have those points later. Because I do need to invest in strength to wear gear. Okay, now this first skill, Scorpion Blade. Basically, it is... Basically, it is what it looks like. It's just a poison dagger. And it does a fair amount of damage, as you can see. 31 to... Or, four, 21 to 37 over 2 seconds. It's not bad. But it's only one dagger. Uh, wait, what was that? One knife per six levels if I invest in Maelstrom. Mm, nah. I don't really think that's worth using as a main skill anyway. Um, as you would probably imagine, Dexterity is the weapon damage modifier for throwing weapons. Just like it was in the vanilla D2. Except I think in Vanilla D2 it was a little bit different. Can't quite remember. Now one difference I must point out is that in the Vanilla D2, whenever you used a throwing skill like this, it uh, lowered your knife quantity. In this game, using a throwing skill does not actually lower the quantity. If you do a normal throw, in other words, uh, this, if you do that, then as you can see down here, it does lower the quality from, or quantity from 160 to 159. Such is not the case in median, which does, on one hand, doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but on one hand, I do like, so I don't have to, because if anyone who builds a Javazon knows, it was a real pain in the ass having to go into town constantly to get more javelins until before finding that uh, uh, Titan's Revenge javelin that you that you would be guaranteed to be seeking throughout the entire game and all right okay so Pretty much nothing more to be said here. One point in bat strike just to help with, just to do level challenge one. Of course I'll respec once I kill enough uh, cave snappers. Let's see what else I got. Okay. I'm not gonna invest anything in this tree because that does not help a throwing assassin in any way. Um, let's see what these do offhand. I don't actually know. Uh, this is a variation of Corpse Explosion. 
that eh, doesn't really appeal. That's this is clearly a reference to StarCraft. This costs way too much mana because I'm not going to be investing any points in energy. And this looks like it could actually be pretty useful. Reducing magic resistance and increasing damage. Yeah, that looks pretty useful. I might want to max that. And this is a lot of chance to avoid. No matter what assassin you build, you will max perfect being. Because that's how assassins survive crowded areas. Like in a lot of Ubers. That chance to avoid. Perfect. I just wanted to finish her sentence. Because perfect being gives more chance to avoid than anything else in the game. Especially if you're a tiefling form assassin where your total character defense is dropped to zero. It would be helpful for the Amazon, too, if the Amazon could have access to it. So, I'm just gonna keep killing enemies until I hit, uh... So I'm just gonna keep killing enemies until I get level challenge one. Much like with the melee necro, this is gonna be pr somewhat boring in the beginning. Hopefully I can kill stuff as fast as the melee necro, although I find that unlikely, given how fast that could obliterate stuff. Speaking of which, I played around in the Cow King level while listening to uh, Metallica, and it actually caused the game to crash. I've never had that happen before, and I wish I was recording it, but... Like, I'd have to edit out Leper Messiah, and... Because Lord knows um, it would get taken down for copyright or blocked. I forget, does Bat Strike cost mana? No. Wait, what was that text in gold? What was that? Use normal attack. Okay, use normal attack to unleash charge. I haven't used Bat Strike outside of level challenge one. Or zero, I mean. But it, to me, looks like it's this game's version of Phoenix Strike from from the vanilla game, which I did enjoy the Phoenix Strike Assassin. But uh, playing that on a keyboard where you had to hold in the fucking function key and then hit F1, F2, etc., that is that was a real pain in the ass. And I'm guessing Bat Strike is more or less the same thing. Uh, someone do correct me if I'm wrong. Like I said, I haven't played around with it too much, but that is kind of what it resembles to me. And I can already tell that the assassin is kind of spongy. Because she's not gaining a whole lot of uh, points in health per uh, level up. But then again, the necromancer didn't either. The only reason that character has health is because of embalming. Hello, Fallen Shaman. You get the hell out of here. Okay, just a little bit more and I'll be... I'll be good for LC0. And... Just a few more. Alright. 
And I'm gonna invest a point into Blink. Uh, okay. Blink is not a left-hand skill. Not sure why I would... I'm gonna make this a five. So Blink is our early form of teleportation. Okay, I see the assassin only gained 20 points in life per level up. Okay, so let me put away this and LC1. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, let's see. Okay. Yeah, it's that Nova that really does the trick. Yeah, you can see how much damage that did. The second one, the second attack, I hate that, oh, okay, it does both, okay. Yeah, I, f uh, what was that? Converts target monsters, which I don't have any of here. Not, so I'm not gonna bother with that second and third hit reanimate because the second and third hit reanimate because quite frankly it is it's just gonna die to the death projector circle of doom which I believe is called death spiral okay come on okay uh I'm gonna switch back. Okay, I didn't want to put that in there, but oh well. Ooh, that was a bit risky. Okay, please get a high, please get a high uh, bonus to all attributes. Yes, 10%, and Crimson Archon. I don't think the Crimson Archon is just that helpful. Not from what I remember. So I think I got it once before, but it's still okay. But I don't mind that so much. Okay, I was just, uh... Okay, I was just looking at which win to see. See what, what that was all about. It's like, I've heard you can really... I've heard you can cheese Legacy of Blood and a few other Ubers with it. I've never tried this myself, but I heard that you could do that. Okay, now this is gonna be a little bit tricky. Oh, fuck, really? Okay, I, I wondered if I could hit them without them attacking me. I don't know if that's actually doable. Yeah, because as soon as, so as soon as it hits them, they're gonna start shooting at me. Hmm. Oh, okay, this will work, I think. As long as I can keep them one at a time. Okay, the big, the big boss is dead. Yeah, I know, kill all the monsters. Got it. All right. I know... I kind of know the, uh like the objective for leveling. Now I know 
points and strength should only be enough to wear all the gear you want without any... With, with as few hard points and strength as possible. And energy invests zero points in that. I understand that much for a throwing assassin. Now, feel free to post this in the comments as well. Should I go for a full dexterity build or just enough into dexterity for 75% chance to block and then the rest into vitality? Because I've seen if I saw one throwing assassin on the mini guides uh, page that I like to view and I like to make builds off of that says all all dexterity and then the rogues test is done. and then there's another separate one for the throwing assassin that's on another forum or another page on the same forum that says uh, enough for 75% chance to block but the rest into vitality Okay, so Way of the Spider... Worry if you were kind of uh, spazzing out on that wood there. So anyway, Way of the Spider. This gives flat poison damage, and it increases poison damage per hard point. That one, I think I'm probably going to max. Because it seems like a good thing to be maxing. So, oh, and on that note... Um, I think... For the early game, I'm going to focus primarily on making this damage a rainbow rainbow damage, meaning that it does damage with all, all of the elements possible. I mean, later on, once I start getting heavy amounts of uh, dexterity, and I can start accessing sacred items and such, I'll convert that damage to physical. But for right now, I'm thinking elemental damage would be a a fun idea, and it would really clear out the fields really well. So I'm gonna invest more in strength, one into Way of the Spider, once into that, just as a prerequisite, because who cares. Hello, Fallen Shaman. Goodbye. This is exactly why I'm not going to be using Scorpion Blade as a main attack, just because, as you can see, it's only one target at a time, and its damage is less than impressive. Oh, jeez. Well, that's going to be annoying. This asshole will be summoning Flitz, and I'm not going to have much of a way of dealing with it other than what I just did there. Okay. I'm looking at the next skill in the tree, and I don't like the amount of mana that takes. Because without any points in mana, this could be a real pain in the ass to use. Oh, you dickhead. I'm still playing this on Players 1 at the moment. I don't know if I'll switch to Players 8 later or not. Because I just know if I go to Players 8 now, I'm not going to be able to kill these guys very quickly. And I'll get swarmed by the Serendesh Flitz. And I don't want to be dealing with that right now. So I'm going to make this A. And I'll make Storm Crows. Is it Crows or Claws? Crows. I'm going to make that my secondary attack, simply because, as I said, I know with the amount of mana that costs that it's going to be a problem right now. Later on, though, once I get thousands of points in mana, that's not going to be a problem, of course. 
Which that actually leads me to another question. Should I use this or this? I have used this as a main attack and it's awesome, but I've also seen to use this as a main attack instead for more damage, more seek range, etc. Again, I've never built one of these up to level 120 or done the Black Road or anything, so I'm open to suggestions. And of course I will look on the, um, the documents guide to see what all items and rune wards are available to me, so I can make a good judgment. Also, Blink can uh, stun enemies for a little bit. And the stun time's not anything useful, though. It's only for, like, yes. Yeah, half a second, almost. It's not... It's not anything you can use for... as an actual, like, utility move. Like Thunder Slam, for example. Thunder Slam is an awesome, awesome utility, and it can save your ass when you're in danger. Screw Blood Raven. I do need to kill the cave snappers anyway. That. Oh my god. That was way more damage than I was expecting. Blink, of course, is just. As you'd expect, is just a 1 point wonder. I don't think hard points. It reduces skill timer. And the skill timer is already 4 seconds. It's not that big a deal. It's still less than half of Jaton's gate. So, yeah. So yeah, I give absolutely zero shits about reducing this thing's spell timer. Okay. Still have just enough into strength to wear items. And Storm Crows. I do have flat poison damage, I know, from Way of the Spider. I kind of see where this could be bad with the random targets. Because it doesn't just attack the target you select, it attacks random targets. Which is okay, I guess, but, like, right here I'm trying to target that one. It might not be the best choice, I'm feeling. Yeah, randomly throwing knives. Oh my god. Also, Storm Crows isn't exactly doing a lot of damage right now. Then again, I am not using the best of uh, weapons either. Just a crappy tier 1 throwing knife.
and you're you're gone. Oh no. I am not letting you summon an army under under my nose. In regards to my question earlier about whether I should make this full dexterity or just enough for 75% chance to block, I'm thi I'm currently I'm leaning more towards full dexterity because I'm not sure how much uh, one hard point in vitality would actually give the character. I understand there's stuff like epicenter that improves maximum life and mana, but... This doesn't really seem like a build that could survive with because of huge amounts of health. There's the waypoint for the stony field. Alright, I want to see how long I've been going for. Uh, 26 minutes. I feel I should stop here. Uh, not ch I'm next time I'm hoping to get to... L Actually, off-screen I'll farm some gold and then respec. So yeah, see you then.